hey guys welcome to protocol orders point okay so in our previous tutorial we have implemented password validation in such a way that password entered by a user should contain a capital letter a small letter a number and a special character okay so in this tutorial we are going to implement a password strength checker where we are going to show a progress bar so you can just check this app so here i have the demo app i have created for you so this is the password field so as you can see there is a progress bar being shown where i am indicating that if your password is strong or no okay so you can see over here so you can see it is it turned to green as soon as i entered all the characters required for this validation okay so now the user can submit the form okay so let's get started with this okay so let's go to our android studio to build this so this is my filter project that I have created in my previous tutorial where I have implemented password validation where a password should contain a capital letter, small letter, a number and a special character. Okay. So this is the same code. So the code is still over here. So let me explain you what, or what I have done in my previous tutorial. Uh, after that, we'll just continue with the password strength implementation. Okay. So here I have a form. In this form, I have a text field where a user can enter a password. Okay, so in this text field, I have a validator which will be called every time when a user enter a value into it. Okay, so here what I am doing is I am checking if a user has entered something or no, or if he is entering any uh, empty space. So this is this is a validation where I am showing please enter a password. Okay. And after that, in else statement, I am calling a method that is validate password by passing the value entered by a user. Okay, so now let's go to this pass validate password method. Okay, so in this valid password method, you can check here. I am checking if the password contains all the validation as per the regular expression or no. So here you can see this is for number check. This is for small letter, this is for alphabet capital and this is for special symbol. If if it contain all the validation, if it contain capital, small number and special character, then this function will return a value as true, else it will return value as false. Okay. And then depending on the value, we are going to validate our form. Okay, so I am just, just passing a null. If the result is true, then we can perform create account uh, event. Else, you can just show a message to the user that a password should contain capital, small, number and special character. Okay, so this is all I have done in my previous tutorial. Okay, so let's begin implementing password strength checking in Flutter through the same Flutter project. Okay. Uh, so here is the rules that I am going to follow. So I will be having a variable that will be of type boolean and it will range from 0 to 1. So it will be in a decimal point 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75 and 1. Okay. So let's declare that double and then let's name it as password strength. And initially we will just set it to zero. Okay. Okay. So now depending on the user entered password, I need to set this password strength variable from one to zero to one. Okay. So let's do that. So this validation uh, password is been called when a user enters something data in a text field. Okay. So you can see over here. So this is the method and here I am going to pass the password that a user has entered. Okay. So let's do it over here. Okay. If password is empty, then set state password strength is equal to zero. Okay. So for now, let me comment this part. I need it afterwards. Okay. Else if if password 
dot length is less than 6 then set state password string password strength to 1 divided by 4 that is 0 0.25 so let me copy this else if password length is less than 8 characters then divide by 2 ok then else in else statement I am going to check this validation so in this validation I am just checking if the password match with my regular expression or no so if it contain number small letters capital letters and special symbol or no ok so let me check this function I need to return false for somewhere ok so return false ok yeah so let me explain you what I have done ok so I just forgot to add validation password strength in this for loop so if it match then 4 divided by 4 that is 1 else 4 3 divided by 4 and that is password is strong great ok uh, so let me explain you now so if it is empty then the password strength is 0 so you cannot submit the form if it is uh, less than 6 characters then 1 divided by 4 that is 0 0.25 2 divided by 6 that is 50 percent that is uh, 0 0.50 3 divided by 4 that is 1.0.75 else 4 divided by 4 that is 1 the password is great ok so this is how I am going to set the variable ok so now let's uh, build a progress bar depending on this uh, password strength as I shown in the uh, pre beginning of this video tutorial ok so before this elevated button I want to show a progress bar a linear progress bar ok so for that linear progress indicator and value I will just send, set it as per the password strength so this will range from 0 to 0, 1.0 ok so let's give a background color to this progress bar as gray ok and let's add a minimum height of 5 ok so now I want to set a color uh, to show indicate if the password is strong weak strong ok or uh, great ok so this will this color will define it ok so here password strength if password strength is less than 1 divided by 4 then set the color as red ok and then if password strength is less than ok so it is if it is equal to 2 divided by 4 then set it to yellow ok and if password strength is equal to 3 divided by 4 then the color will be blue ok ok else color will be green ok so if the password strength value is less than uh, 1 divided by 4 that is 0 0.25 then red 
if it is less if it is equal to 50% 0.5 then yellow if it is greater than 0.5 then blue and else it will be 1 so therefore oh, so it is green sorry okay so let's just check this out so i'll just restart our app okay so the app got restarted so let me enter a password over here so you can see i am entering five characters and it is red till now so as soon as i enter one more character you can see it is yellow i will just add a hashtag uh, at the rate hashtag and you can see it has completed more than uh, six seven eight characters so it got turns into green okay so let's give uh, some padding to this uh, indicator so just i'll just wrap it with a padding widget with pixels of 16 dp okay okay so now you can see this button is turned on uh, even if the password strength is less than uh, eight char eight character length okay so now i want to turn on this button only if this validation is successful okay so for that here on press method so over here what i will do is if password strength is not equal to one then i will just stop the functionality of this button else you can just perform the action that you want okay so if it is not equal to one password password strength is not equal to one then this button functionality will be null so you cannot perform anything with this button and if it is equal to one then you can just perform any event that is inside this block okay so now let's restart our app okay so the app got installed so let's check it okay so i will just enter my name so you can see immediately as soon as the validation is successful a my button got turned on so you can see okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to uh, validate a password field by uh, implementing password strength checker so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point so the complete source code of this tutorial is on my website that is protocodespoint.com you can just take the source code from this website i have explained in step by step process okay so you can just take it from here okay so thank you